Interested to see what's going to be done this time around. Uh, yeah, exactly. Obviously, Eden on the defense for it as well now. So, Reginopolis. I think I, I was I was thinking both defenses were going to win. It's already you now one of the defenses is down. So I don't know. Well, at least managed to win this one, so it mm. makes it one all. So I'm I'm going to be right, and it goes to a final matchup. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Um, who knows? Yeah, it's very exciting. So the teams are already uh, getting into the lobby. They're all complete. Almost the classes all, are, are, are all there as well. So I, mean, I guess we're going to find out how Blame Lies is going to approach this map. I'm so curious to see if they actually have found a different strategy compared to Eden from the, their scrim matches. Um, so we'll see. Is, is, is there any units that you saw made a big difference in the, in the game just now? Iron Reaper. The Iron Reapers. <laughs> the Iron, Iron Reapers at the end, definitely. Um... Other than them, though, obviously the use of javelins is always good. But when when you've seen Blame, Blame Malias defending, they had a lot of units out on sea that needed ammo, mm -hmm. but they didn't have any yeah. way to rearm them in the end because they had to yeah. get them off the wall to get down to a resupply, and it just wasn't possible. Um, and I, I think that might have bite, bit them in the ass a little bit, having so many that needed ammo and had no way of actually resupplying. It's going to be interesting, though, because this map, basically now, is the question is, are Reading going to pull back to sea and defend? Or because they know that they could take C, they're going to maybe just stay out and defend A and B. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen it a few Might times where teams have done something that's unexpected, if you like, and then the attacking team has just not known what, how to deal with it. Yeah. But they have to like readjust, they've got their units mm -hmm. set up to take C, and then all of a sudden they're fighting on a, a, a and B, yeah, definitely. or they might, they might even sally out. Yeah, and especially if you realize how... I, mean, I don't know about that one. Yeah. But <laughs> that might be different, but who knows. I'll yeah. just throw it out there just for the lull. Right in front of the Great Bombard <laughs> sounds, like a, sounds like a good idea, yeah. yeah, yeah no, but... Sally out the breach. Yeah, but you go... They don't sally out, no balls. Yeah, but going up to, back to your point, uh, Fingers, about the, like coming up with a different strategy that might be unexpected. You could see by how close the fights were at the end, like it was a literal, literally it was a death match at the end, uh, no units left yeah. on the field. Um, if you can win one fight convincingly because it's you outsmart your opponent, that could be like the, the winning d decision at the end of the fight because all those fights are so close. But we'll see what happens. Uh, we're going into the game, 4-3-2-1, uh, uh, Blame Elias versus Eden, game two of the third place final. Uh, back to you guys. Let's let's rock it. Yeah, cool. Don't worry, Sibi. And uh, apologies again, boys, for the for the viewers that uh, we're not really re reacting to chat. Obviously, there's a five minute delay, and as you just noticed, me and Mark are so concentrated on what's going on that um, <laughs> it's it's difficult. So apologies from all of us that we're not reacting so much in chat, but um, we're concentrating on the games, boys. I hope you understand. Very true. I also don't even know where to look or whatever. If you're on, if I'm on camera, I don't even know if I'm on camera because the <laughs> delay is there. So I'm like, oh, damn, am I on camera? Can somebody see me pick my nose? Ah, <laughs> like, oh, damn it. <laughs> it's not my stream. I don't know. <laughs> I think um, hero-wise, it looks pretty similar. Apart from Blame Elise, I've got a wedge of short swords out at the beginning and a long sword. I think yeah. Eden looking pretty similar to what they just were, though, to be fair. Yeah, it does look like this kind of similar strategy setups and stuff as well. You know why it's a little bit different? There's more Zykele and Militia on the defensive side here and Javelins, yeah. obviously, for uh, um, Eden here. Um, some people with the, the triple purple, with, I'm surprised, isn't getting used or even like more than one purple. But these guys have got plenty of leadership because they can take two purples and a, a gold unit. So that's yeah, yeah. always a bonus. But yeah, this is this is a different strategy though from Alias. They're spawning far left hand side where nobody spawned left hand side the last time around uh, for Eden. I don't know whether they're going to test the waters and go through the the breach, um, like through the tunnel, sorry, the tunnel, and maybe yeah. maybe try it something different just to see if they can grab that supply point quite quickly. You know, the one that they defended. Oh, the one next to C, you mean? Yeah, or the one so they might, like behind A. Just past B, yeah, the one behind yeah, yeah, B. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if they'll try and do that so they can grab the supply point and then get straight onto C. Or even use it because you can get up to sea, you know what I mean, through the through the tunnels. So maybe they want to yeah. go straight up to sea. We'll see, Surprise. man. It's going to be interesting. There we go. So we've got Eden. We'll see if they're going to do what everybody expects and uh, defend the walls or just run straight back. But Ghost X units, a lot of the units are already going back to sea here. Yeah, they've got a lot of trash out as well. So they're probably just going to leave them there, run back to the back supply, get a new unit out, and then job done. They've just got a few guys up on the walls using the, the, the artillery just to get rid of a few units where yeah, they can. Take out units, try and slow the siege, whatever they could possibly do. Wonder if anybody will die to this uh, more, uh, the, the bombard. On the, the bombard. 
There is an assist there somewhere, so somebody did die, or there's somebody's got an assist or something, or a unit kill, maybe that is. Yeah, it's a unit kill. Somebody killed one troop. Sorry. Um, I thought it was an assist point. I was like, wait, I'm an assist he's, already? He's wait. Doing, he's doing work. <laughs> he's working hard already. He's already started with a kill. Yeah, so... So far, like, there is a couple of modal actually on this time. I didn't really see many modal attack for Eden, so... To have Madaus yeah. on the attack for uh, for Play Melis is going to be a bit of a different strategy. They've got Siladars in there as well. They had the yeah. unit of Siladars on the last fight as well. Uh, I think it was Elias brought them Elias as well. Elias Veggie, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so they, they obviously like their Siladars and think they can play well with. Um, so far, they're just take it to the breach, take it on the wall. That unit, oh, then people didn't actually go under the, under the tunnel, sadly. Oh yeah, Alchemist as well. Yeah, they're looking to try and heal their child somewhere. What about their where their plan is? There was Alchemist on the last Alchemist. fight as well. Uh, I definitely seen vasectomy with Alchemists when they pushed the C point because they just had them sat in the middle of the open area just with the heal on. Um, I, I think it was the first push they made on the C. He didn't have got was... a couple of heroes on that far left supply point pass, uh, with a couple of units and stuff here as well waiting. Well. Uh... Uruguay and Mr. Tuck was having a wee look to see if they can have a, an opportunity to get there. Obviously, same as the last matchup, A and B is given for free pretty much. And then as we kind of go in, it's just going to be waiting to take down the both walls in the breach. Because yeah. there's nothing they can do at this point in time, really, unless you just want to full force, send yourself straight through the front gate or the side gate. Um, yeah. Are they using the bombards to get rid of that breach, or...? I don't think anybody's actually back there anymore. Everybody else no. has all moved up, everybody from, uh... There's a unit of palace guards, though. Oh, no. Pike militia, even. <laughs> but they've got... Yeah, so... So the breach is still on 22%, so they still have time with that. Unless there's a strategy for, and a reason for keeping it up, I don't know, but... Maybe to They're stop. all... Oh, as you can see, they're all, they're all pushing up onto the wall here. Every single one of them are going onto the wall and they're going to do something different here. This is definitely a different strategy. It's just a hero push though. There's no units coming with them. It's just all heroes getting onto the wall. Mr. Tuck being a pike. I wonder what he's looking to do here. Are they trying to find a position for Trebs or something? A big or just difference how to... Eden are defending this is where they've got no units on the wall. Or at least I can't find any on the wall. Um, they've got in the back corner a couple of units coming up now where that Trebs landing in that tower. But otherwise they've got Ooh. nothing up on the wall. Interesting trebs, interesting to treb the kind of tower. It doesn't really deal damage to anything inside it, but... Yeah, that, that's where a lot of their units are as well. Yeah. But what? Staying protected completely the whole time, but I don't know what the what the goal is to have all these heroes on the wall. I think they can move their units in being sat up there, though, without... Yeah, look, they can, yeah, they can. move that's their units doing. in. Bravo, and that's all doing that just now. There's a lot of people moving in, now they're just and off, Eden will start to close them. in the pinch. Oh, the Treb's going to come in here as well. Do that actually get anything in this corner here? Lamy Maybe Alice blocking off the back fires entrance. It over, but I down. think the wall stops every single one of them Treb balls, sadly. Oh, yeah, there's a Sigillian Militia up top by Curse Fly. Dealing some damage. Very even the still hero actually, wise, They're actually, they're actually going to stop. Blame Elias is going to stop people coming down from that supply point, though. Like, from the tower that they're on. Yeah, so it's the NGs, they're obviously... They've bottled up their units. Yeah, all their units are stuck in the corner. If they can get, like, a Fort Abrasio in there, stop the units coming in. But plenty of uh, Senji getting in ears with their grenades and... Uh, I mean, Senji's only a free the grenade. Now, this is not a big blob now. I think they're going to get this, you know. Yeah, they've got, it looks they've got like, like it. double the unit, uh, double the heroes. Sorry, you didn't have. I've only got he uh, ten heroes alive just now, and that's going to be an They're easy. Pulling back as well, overnight and Asamag running away now. Curse fly running away as well. I think Don Dolores is is not getting away from that. He's he's <laughs> just he's just trying to survive as long as possible at this point. He's gonna give he's his gonna time, fall, but his team enough time to set up. Yeah, that, that was, was quick. Very quick, yeah, very quick. See in comparison to the last time round, uh, but it does mean now for the defense of. Plenty of units for the defense, so maybe that was part of the plan. Eden weren't really bothered about the units and losing too many units to start with, maybe? Um, Eden lost 11 heroes focusing. in that push as well, and uh, Blame Elias only lost 4 heroes. That is a huge difference. I think unit-wise, they've, they've lost... Uh, Eden lost double. 
Yeah, roughly double, 306 to 160, or 167. The 31, yeah. Like, this is yeah, the complete opposite <laughs> of what I was expecting before this matchup. I thought defense on Reaganopolis without artillery would be easy peasy, but apparently yeah, it's not. It's not looking that way so far, anyway, for sure, but. Um, They've got 13 trebs. Eight. They have 13 trebs available, so, I mean, that's possible. Um, same Defenders idea for the. A lot of Reapers. Yeah, I was going to say, same Defenders. idea for the, the attacks. There's a lot of Palace Guards on their side for the attack so far, but. A um, couple of Reapers involved, and even a unit of uh, Cataphracts, which will be pretty interesting to see how they, they get used by Uruguay. Uruguay seems to be always the Keshiks or the Cataphract kind of guy, always running under the cavalry and getting the flanks in. So, see if he can do something here. There's Houndsmen as well that Cray has picked up, but he's, he's not actually got them out yet. But they, they could actually be pretty devastating if you get them in the right position at the right to, to yeah. deal so much de damage to the heroes and units uh, around before you put make the push. Blame Elise are completely stacked up as well on the one side, like the back staircase, if you like. The main one towards the resupply, there's literally just Lam and the Crane Urgurai down at the bottom. The whole 13 man team from Blame Elise is always all stacked up on the back here. Yeah, I don't see uh, Eden getting too overzealous and going outside though and trying to take the, the small amount of people that are out there because it is Cav that's out there. So. So yeah. if you go out there, you, you do get the risk the chance of taking the death from the, the Keshiks that are I mean, sitting around the... They've got the time advantage as well, and they just have to sit back and wait. It's it's on a, Elias to take the initiative, really. Mm -hmm. Blame well, Elias, always trying to just like bait these traps and find the places to get them in. They've used five of them so far, but they're really, not really used too well because they're not actually picking anything up. They're literally just... Here comes the big uh, push, like deterrent, But here's the big push coming in from... Blame Elias off the wall, uh, off the right side, and it's going to be a big fight here for this main part here. And this is going to be where this we see the damaging. rotations from Eden. They're coming in from Eden's got the the left side gate and the center, so they're getting pinched in three different directions. Yeah. Blame Elias, and Elias aren't putting push. down any trebs as well, which is strange. They could be trebbing a lot of stuff now, and they're just not doing it. Yeah, I think uh, the treb doesn't really reach that far, like. They're going to start yeah, doing it on now, the and now but... like, yeah, on the point, like, things will start moving there, the then javelins. Yeah, they've, they've just moved to perfect timing. I think they're going to hit their own cav here as well, yeah. Yeah, they do, the cav goes in, um, down to 13 heroes on the, the defence, but they're down to 10 on the attack yeah, so far from yeah. Damian Lewis. Here comes Cataphract Lancers coming in though, can they do some work here? Uruguay is trying to get himself around here to pick up the Senji kills and stuff and kill as many of the units there as possible with his Cataphracts on that follow ability. I think um, not sure right Blame there, Elias need to pull out here. Uruguay is yeah, getting killed in the back as well. Down to seven heroes alive for the attack. Down to six now. Uruguay is in the back, probably being picked up just there as well. Lord Monkey is down here as well. Oh no, Uruguay has managed to get away. Did Uruguay get away? Oh, yeah, he's okay. just got away. So that's miss, Lord miss Monkey Chocolate that's down died. here. <laughs> Lord Monkey just dies there as well. So they're down to six. Uh, Trebs still never really got used too well. Yeah. Like, and there and was when they came them. in, they just missed. Yeah, I think uh, there's a lot of time travel from the, uh, the Trev coming, so it's a lot easier to predict where you're going to yeah. move your unit or just to move your unit in general, but obviously you have no idea or where it's going to hit until the first one hits. But for uh, even massively won that engagement. They're now on 13 hero deaths and uh, Blame Elias are on 16, so they turn that completely around. Yeah, completely. Unit wise, they've got 620, timers, 620 on the attackers to 750 on the defenders, so I've been so many Iron Reapers out just to. Uh, did work and the fact that they pinched them from free side as well what mark said when it happened uh, yeah. was huge because they couldn't they couldn't basically pick off where they wanted to fight from they just got it from everywhere yep once you start doing that once you get say hitting from the side your units are just going to fall quicker than the yard if you're just getting a full one front or fight um, yeah uh, but then um, for the defense they've still got like uh palace guard javelin sergeants out here there's some, uh you know, IPGs Keshik's here as well from as well. first Keshik's Keshik's Reapers. Reapers. Like alien as well from the defenders. <laughs> they still have the Raylan Reapers alive as well, by the looks of it. They still have that option there on this screen. Oh, so Elias well, coming in just with heroes to get rid of their... 
Are they even? Are they not? They've not come with any hero, uh, any units. Sorry, they're just coming to just get rid of some of the special units at the back, like javelins, yeah, Shenjins and Zakalian and stuff. They're obviously going to lose their entire the team. Back here, like the heroes all lose. <laughs> yeah, if they, they just lose all your heroes here. It's going to be a really difficult push the next time around. You're going to have a long time over here. There is still ten I minutes. They've got though, ten minutes though. Yeah, yeah. So they've got enough that units probably for what two pushes. If they just cleared out the Zakalians, which the they did. That Treb was a little bit better there though. That Treb yeah. actually got a lot of units picking off as they were rotating around there because people were too busy trying to kill the heroes. Maybe that's what their plan was. They were trying to <laughs> the talk in the background all the units. running away. He's like, no, I'm out, I'm out boys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a massive difference there. Um, yeah. Two heroes I mean, alive though from a... Uh, I think one's just spawned just back gonna... in though. I think they literally dropped 14 heroes on that push. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're, they're to very interesting hero in. push anyway very interesting hero push but they keep all their units I mean it makes sense to kind of do yeah. that try and take out units as much as possible and heroes but especially by the really time they all the populate heroes. back in they're going to have what maybe nine, eight and a half, nine minutes to push they got rid of maybe some trying units to... as well though they got rid of the maybe trying to bait Ely, uh, they're maybe trying to bait Eden out as well though like because they, they know they'll be down the heroes and maybe they're trying to bait them out so they can... oh these guys come into the open so we can trebuse. <laughs> yeah <laughs> just I like mean, what uh, Eden 30, did to them, but... 30 hero deaths now for Blame Elias to the 13 of Eden. I mean, Blame Elias knew that they would die there. That was like literally a decision to go in to take out key units. They've still got javelins yeah. up though, the defenders, free sets. Ghost X picking up Mr. Talk there. It was one of the one of the previous kills here, but obviously things are slow and the, 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 the kind of j points that jump up on the screen. I'm like, when did that happen? That was probably like a minute and a half ago, but... Now they've got Blamey Lace have their full 15 ready as well and waiting. They've got six trebs available still, 621 units available on defense. They have 670 units available on defense and it's just rotating round and round. As you can see, all the heroes are not staying stationary. They're constantly on the move. Just just checking around to see where uh, any of Blamey Lace are going to make their move. The are going now. It looks like they're doing a full send on that same side again. Yep, 100%. Looks like it is going to be getting themselves set up in a position to make that move. Apart from Ugarai, right I think it's going to come through the gateway. Oh no, he's coming around the same side as well. Okay. I thought maybe... So he didn't have the, the same side. thing set up already. They're already going to be able to hit them from Three that direction. sides again, yeah. Once this, this time, goes in here. Blame Elias have seen it though, and they're actually sending stuff to block that one side off. Like the little archway. Yeah, they've got palace can... guards in that archway with Fort Abrasio watching that archway, which is fantastic planning there from Blame Elias. The march comes in from now. IPGs, so... So IPG march from Eden is actually going to be pretty crucial there. Keshe is coming across. A couple of heroes are falling though on to side of uh, Blame Elias. They're down to 13 at the moment. 475 units, so their units are going quicker than Eden's guys are falling here. Treb's coming in now. Uh, is this Treb going to pick trip, up though. some of these units here? Uh, the, all these palace guards as well, but it doesn't look like it's going to pick up much of the palace guards in the grand scheme of things. Nah, I think they managed to pull out the way. There's another unit reapers coming in from the back from the defenders as well. Never mind, that's palace guards. Still quite close though, for hero wise. We're still kind of matching matches. Mm. 13 versus 12. We're still close, still unit wise. Still four trebs available. If they keep making sure these trebs are going in the right places, this one's going to hit a couple of units, maybe. Just just a few, but... Unlucky again, man. Eden them. managed Eden... to push past it, if you like, and they're pushing him back now. Yeah, Eden, are, Eden 10, it's but... a hero fight here now at this point, because all yeah. their units for uh, Lama... Are basically well, dead, yeah. Been Lamas, but, yeah. That could be a good dead. treb, though. They're pushing in a lot of units there. That could actually do work for them, but I think it's... They're down That's 150, gonna be really, 160 units. Really good treb. It hits most of the wall, though. I think the person just mis misaligned it, maybe, when they called it a bit too early. I think they lost 20 but... units on that treb. And that's it. Yeah, they've got down 12, to four heroes. 14 to 5. That was, yeah. I think it's it's GG, I think. I don't think... I mean, uh, um, still have some good units left, but I mean, it's a really tough, tough uh, attack here to get in here when Eden are constantly pinching them coming through that one 42 hero deaths as well to 17. Like, I would have thought after their first push when they tried going through that, that one side where they got pinched from three sides that they'd actually maybe do a split push. Yeah. But, they were just like, nah. <laughs> so, that's, that's so Eden did there when they had a slow push, and it helped because obviously you're kind of you can having open a, up the fronts like, against the enemy. Like, then it's areas, just like yeah. Eden had one front to fight on, basically. Like three different angles, but it was basically the same front. Yeah, so they're and, just uh, doing it as like a constant rotation, yeah. Yeah. 
So I we're still, still like 140 Kobe's units different still. So. In terms yeah. of like defense, they still have Palace Guards, Inland Reapers, Fort Abrasio. There's even a unit of Claymores in there, some Javelin Sergeants, Halberdier Sergeants, and uh, the attack still have a couple of Iron Reapers and Tertios. And um, they've got two heroes with no units as well, though, the defenders. They've got two guys with Village Watchmen, so they're basically down four units. But the yeah. attackers aren't much better. The they've got a similar, Matelatori, yeah. two guys with no units. They've got um, the Alchemists, which don't do anything in a fight. And then you've got Uruguay with his, his Pike Militia, which could be good if he can see where the Keshigs are to stop the Keshigs. But <laughs> maybe they're not going to do much against, say, like Iron Reapers or Palace Guards. Lipsic. Or Looks like Blue are going for the same way, though, <laughs> as well. They're not splitting any set and push here. And uh, that's the thing with Eden. Because they, 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 they're constantly going round and round and having a look and scanning, they're, they're seeing when to rotate. And if they realise there's nobody coming to the small gate, they'll literally send their whole units to pinch. Yeah. Um, and that's why it's that's been working in their favour so far. And uh, they've got now, a good set up in that side corridor as well in. again. So. Got some jabs in there, they've got some palace guards. Player Miller are making the push with ISGs in the front line well. here. And Martello Tori. I think Blood Sorry is going to go Martel down in it. Yeah, Blood Sorry just died. He had cavalry as well, so that's a cavalry unit not going to get used in this fight. I wonder if they're going to pull back and wait for him to respawn now, though. Ooh, Sally out. Cheeky Sally, Sally out. Flank from in the back Sex. here. Ghost X trying, but it seemed to have been cut down quite shortly. I think this is unfortunately just Kesh Keshigs, weren't it? So they couldn't. They're not quite as OP as they were a couple of weeks ago, but Ghost X is still alive, and he's got obviously got. You can see exactly what they're doing. So we'll be making calls. Look, they're all bunched up there. They're going to push now. Yeah. That's some pushing in now. Blame Elias are starting to go in and go left and little nook and cranny in the corner here, and now everybody from Eden is starting to swarm on and come from the sides. So, well. Three trebs up the and there goes one, but it's not going to hit anything. By the time that comes in, I think everything will be gone. And even if it's even then, that's village watchman. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they hit some javelins though. The javelins, yeah, the javelins have taken a, taken a wee hit there from them. But the javelins and Edens are actually counting on the the heroes here. They're killing plenty of heroes in the corner. They're all yeah, stuck yeah, in yeah, there, they've... and they're down to nine heroes on the attack here, down from fourteen with only nine units available now. So they're struggling they've got double and units to defenders have as well 250 oh versus yeah. 100 units here so i, I think that's, nine, that's, that's, nine heroes <laughs> that's gg i'm actually shocked though that blame elise did the exact same push three times in a row i am very after surprised it failed yeah. after the first one like i honestly thought they would have adjusted yeah they're basically being completely wiped again blood stories just respawn back in because he's died just before the main push Without getting any use out of his cab, but there's so many heroes, his cavalry is going to be useless. Yeah, look, there you See go. if he gets a treb now, soon. calls a treb before he dies. No, he doesn't. He might not <laughs> oh, even no, have a treb did. left. That's Somebody one thing did. I'd like to see on this CB rivals overface, or like overlays, to see who has a treb still left. Yeah, it'd be a good tab. idea to have, so we can actually see. Yeah. And they're going for their push. It's obviously you can see who calls it in now and then, but uh... it's harvest time. yeah, apart from that, everything else is. Just know how many is available left. They've got two available left, 62 units versus 242 units. It's definitely a massive difference in comparison to the first uh, first round where yeah. there was no heroes, no, like just hero fighting. Um, there's no way Blame Alias can outwhelm these heroes on the point with nah. 242 units defending still. Nah, there's, and not in two uh, there's minutes. Just no chance. They've lost uh, nearly 60 units as well this fight so far, and uh, Eden have only lost 19, so. Rough. I don't even know if Blame is even going to make it a sick a next push. I think they're just going to kind of stand around and wait till the timer counts down at this point. Bravo, I mean, Bravo wants to still keep fighting here. Cruel mercenaries left the battle. <laughs> Some of them are starting to realize that's it, time is up. There's no units, there's nothing we can do here. IBG marching through the stairway, but Eden will push out onto, onto them yeah, as well there good. and just pick there's, up as many heroes here overnight, do. picking up Bravo. They're going to chase Mr. Cross Picks is chasing. Little. Mr. Talk here is the, is the pick. See for the craze going to go on the end point, but Namio's there. Uh, they got Fort Brachio's there as well. They got some palace guards. He's not going to do well. So my they prediction is going as just think. as I thought. Like so far, it was going to be a an Eden win, I think, but I didn't think it was going to be like this. <laughs> nah, it's it it looks like obviously the next match is going to be Le Grand Gua. Um, I take it Eden's attacking first on that as well. Must be because it was swapping there. Yeah. So. 
If Eden win that one, Eden it might be. If, it might be a three nil to Eden. Looking yeah, at this, it could though. be. This the way these things are going so far. If uh, especially when you tackle are like, going to Glor, you've got plenty of a uh, opportunity there. To, hmm. to pick up the win from it. It's not like it's an easy defendable map or an easy attack. It's kind of a mixed bag depending on who you're playing and who how you well you play together. But at this point, it's very well played from Eden on the defence. Yeah. They didn't overcommit like the Blame Elias guys did in the first round. They didn't um, sally out and basically rush out to try and get some more kills. They just stayed in the, the Treb safe zone, if you like, and then just won the main engagements and then we're just happy we're waiting. Yeah, I think it also comes down to the hero class picks up pickups here as well. There was a lot of pole axes for uh, Blame Elias, um, but there was just wasn't enough hero killing classes. I think like pole axe can do it at times, and short swords can do it, but it takes far too long in comparison to the definitely dealing kills of uh, muskets, glaives, and uh, mauls, for example. The, uh, the side okay, as of Eden as well this time. Defense. MVP thirty assists, man. Once again, that pike player top of the top of the list. If <laughs> once again seven hero kills again, the same. But uh, he still knows how to work his way around the pike. Um, <laughs> I find it really difficult to do any against a medium class anymore. But some people just know their way about their buttons. And uh, Captain OBS also picked up seven hero kills along with Zeng, Don Dolores, and mm. Ghost X all on the seven hero kills. So they all did pretty good in the in the grand scheme of hero kills, and you could see by the end of it. How that well, I didn't even heroes. die either, man. Six zero seventeen assists. That's a bad effort. That's not a bad and effort you, at all. And you got blood story with seven deaths <laughs> on the enemy <laughs> oh, team. Oh, that's that's rough. Lord, Lord Monkey comes out MVP on a uh, blame Elias' side here with eleven assists, two hero kills. Did die four times, but one hundred ten unit kills. But overall, it come down to the 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 kind of hero kill and scales of Eden. Uh, and, yeah, and then pinch. Eden, in Eden definitely dominated attack. that defense, man. Like sixty, they killed sixty-three heroes from Blame Elias and only lost twenty-two. That is, that is the stat to look at. And it was on the last match, the first round, I think it was sixty odd to forty odd, weren't it? Mm -hmm. when, yeah. when when they were attacking, so that that is brutal, yeah. man. Unit 